back in February, we introduced you to Tamara Cartwright, a Southern Alberta woman who traveled to Ottawa for a medical marijuana summit on Parliament Hill and filed for her possession of a marijuana license. She got her license and says she feels vindicated, but she says the fight is not over until medical marijuana is legalized. Allison Hawkins has more. To Tamara Cartwright, it's the only thing that relieves pain and stress and helps her get through the day. I don't get high. I just feel better. I just function better. I don't blaze around here all day long. I have a 15 month old son to take care of. But I'll tell you, I take care of him better because I'm not all hailed out on codeine and Oxycontin and drooling on my couch because I can function. Tamara had gone through specialists and doctors for years, trying to get her license to legally possess marijuana. And as of April 1st, all her work to obtain legal documentation finally paid off. I feel vindicated in a way because you know, I fought so hard for so long to try and bring my family around to tell people that it does work for a lot of people, that we are case studies, that you know, we don't just say it works for us because it doesn't. So it's vindication for me, for one. While filing for her license in Ottawa, Cartwright also took the opportunity to express her concerns over the Medicinal Marijuana Summit at Parliament Hill. We went up to protest to let the Conservative government know that we aren't going away. There's actually almost 14,000 of us now. So we were kind of protesting because of the delays. We have people that are waiting up to eight months to get their licenses, especially on renewals. The Tabor woman admits it's a long shot to have marijuana legalized, but she's willing to fight for it. I feel right now that if the Harper government got in a majority, we would lose our own program. He's so anti-conservatives, are so anti-cannabis, because they're not educated on cannabis. Um, and I really believe that our program would basically be shut down. Cartwright says there needs to be a different mindset when it comes to regulations. She says if the government would just tax medicinal marijuana and make it legal, that money would go into the government's hands and eliminate law-breaking dealers and consumers. I'm not a criminal and I'm not harmful. I mean, none of us are. In fact, most people that smoke marijuana are very peaceful, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens, and that's what I think infuriates me the most about it. Allison Hawkins, Global News. Now that Cartwright has her license, she is allowed to possess marijuana and grow up to 39 plants. It is still illegal for her to purchase cannabis or sell any of her own medication to another medical patient. And that is health news for tonight.